This fried rice is a meal on a plate. You've got your fried rice on the base, topped with that lovely saucy seafood stir fry. It's Fujian fried rice. I'm Jeremy from School of Wok. It is Wok Wednesday and this week it's a Fujian fried rice. Now this type of fried rice is actually quite often served at Chinese wedding banquets. I'm going to prep all the ingredients for the sort of stir fry topping. Right, I'm going to go for sort of chunks of carrot and everything I chop will be similar size. So I've got this asparagus here which I'm just going to take the dry ends off and then at a slight angle just chop through that. I've got these soaked shiitake mushrooms. They've been soaked in hot water at least an hour, if not overnight, if you've got the time. And then some spring onion, which I'll use at the beginning to add flavour to the oil. The squid, I don't want it cut too, or kept too big either, but I still do want to score into it. So just open that up and light scores, nice and thin, across the squid. And then I'm gonna cut that in half again and go for slightly larger bite-sized pieces of squid. So the prawns, I'm gonna just chop into rough chunks, similar sort of size, slightly smaller than the squid. So I've got my wok clock of ingredients here. And the idea with this, with the sauce, I'm gonna make up a quick sauce, is that the sauce should be quite natural and sort of light in flavor. We've got a little bit of oyster sauce, about a tablespoon, and that should work really well with the seafood. Some light soy for saltiness, a little bit of sesame oil, but I'll use the rest of that sesame oil for the actual fried rice. And then the rest is gonna be made up with some lovely homemade chicken stock that I've got here. My fried rice, I'm just keeping really classic and that's just rice and some beaten eggs. I'm actually gonna cook the rice first and then put the eggs in second, just so that I can show you something different and a way to sort of coat every grain of rice in egg. But your wok skills and your wok hay have to be good. I'm going opposites today. I'm frying my rice first and then pouring the egg over that rice. If you get your heat right, this will work an absolute treat. So the rice is gonna go into that hot oil. Press into it and start to separate out all the grains. Flick it through a couple of times, but don't lose too much of that heat. Once the grains of rice have separated out, then what you wanna do is just swirl a little drizzle more oil around the edge and then pour the egg around the edge like so. And start to bring all that rice into that sort of wet, the raw egg before you then continue to fold it through. I'm gonna cook this fried rice for slightly longer than normal because I want this egg that's wrapped around each grain of rice to actually fry and the, the rice grains start to separate out again. Now some seasoning, a little bit of salt, white pepper and a bit of sugar and that sugar will accentuate the natural sweetness and aroma of those rice grains. Sesame oil, remember this is just the base of this meal. Nice fresh take on a fried rice. So you'll know when this base fried rice is ready because with that egg wrapped around every grain of rice, all those grains are nice and separate. Serve that up. Back on, straight on now to the topping or that stir fry seafood that tops the fried rice. And we're gonna go nice and easily around my wok clock of ingredients, starting at 12 o'clock with my spring onion. Just fold that through lightly and then add your carrots. And the whole beauty of this dish is a good balance of flavour, texture, colour, all in one plate. 
Those carrots will steam pretty much quicker once all the liquid goes in. So my asparagus can join quite quickly. The asparagus only really needs about 30 seconds to a minute of stir frying before we then continue with the rest of the stir fry. My mushrooms, and then my seafood. That sort of bite-sized seafood can all go in together. A couple of quick flicks, but leave that on a nice high heat so that the squid starts to kind of curl up within itself. Whilst that's building up heat, my oyster sauce and light soy mix can go in. I'm just gonna add a pinch of sugar to that and then fold that through. And then continue to build up heat because I want this sort of smoke to form around the edge of the wok before I pour in my chicken stock. And I want this to be quite saucy. Chicken stock's about to go in and then bring that to a boil. Now I'm not the biggest fan of using corn flour paste to thicken sauces in the last minute. Although it's quite traditional, sometimes I find the sauces come out a little too sort of gloopy. But a little bit of corn flour paste in this does help because what you want is for the sauce to kind of almost sort of envelope and stick around that rice. I'm gonna thicken this up whilst it's on a vigorous boil. Now the consistency of this sauce is getting to a point where I reckon it's kind of similar to like a sweet corn soup. At that point, you're done. What I love about this dish, it's really natural flavours from the seafood. And there's not, you know, the sauce shouldn't be too dark. You want to keep the vibrance of the vegetables in there as well. My seafood, Fujian fried rice, a banquet dish made at home. Let us know in the comments below why Uncle Roger hasn't reviewed our fried rices yet because we've got so many fried rices in here. If you have an idea as to why, let us know. Thank you.